funny, but who, who designed this building originally? This was the architects of the Union Pacific. And, they and there's name list of other it's more essentially more. unnamed. Yeah. No particular name. Because like, you know, the Highway Northwestern were all done by far from the range of, well, right. this, it's all the same. It's basically one architect of this whole piece. All the way no, I mean, there, there are stations you know, along the North Shore where there, but I didn't realize that. Uh, um, so this is, this is a classic plan. When we did the corn shell and then the interiors, this is uh, white architects. They came in and retrofitted. They, they did their interior build out. It's and, nice. I like yeah, it. it's nice. The ceilings are fantastic. What we had to do was, the ceiling heights are high here, but we essentially had to land the floors in, in locations that worked with the existing window mullion pattern. Yeah, so this that. was a wide open space. There were no floors. No floors. So we put, we settled this floor at the line that would at least make this workable. So you get these beautiful arch windows. If we were any higher, um, it would have made the ceiling height downstairs a little nicer, but it would have been a little odd. But you could have really, I mean, uh, I, on the second floor, we'll see, I guess, how high are the ceilings there? They're like 11 feet. Yeah, yeah okay. they're substantive. So you, you, yeah. couldn't have, I, really, you could have put an extra floor in here, I guess. You could have if there were windows. Floor. Right, so we could have floated, obviously. That, right, and, and, um, and actually our original plan was to add a fourth floor set back, and I can send you a rendering, but set back where we had a glass floor on the top, which is where I think um, Structured wanted to move to. But after going through all of the, um, all, all of the historic process that sort of got yeah, they wouldn't have saw it in out. Tech, so you wouldn't have seen it from the outside. Yeah, we, we were going to set it back and clearly define it as, as new and modern. And that would have been okay? Yeah. That would have been okay for the Department of uh, the DNR, but not Chicago. Oh, okay. So you, I'm guessing that in your other rehab work, have you ever done a uh, historic project as complicated as this in terms of compliance with the various in terms of compliance, uh, they're all fairly they're all similar. Fairly similar in terms of yeah. compliance, but it's always a, clearly you mm -hmm. all have to know. You have to be familiar with the various schemes sure. so that you know that the National Register right. compliance right. is different than the city of Chicago. We do know, and that. it may be even different than the state of Illinois. We know. I mean, the, the the difference is is that I think essentially the 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 the, the the national guidelines are that as long as you the new edition clearly is different, so you're not misleading anyone about the timeline that it's modern and you can tell the difference. I think generally speaking, they're okay with that. The city of Chicago doesn't want you to see the edition. The problem with this triangular building with elevated railroad tracks, an L stop right here. No matter how much we set it back, they felt like you could see it. Yes. So that was an issue. So we can take a quick walk in here and just we'll run in and run out and I'll show you those back windows where you can sort of see the tracks. That was a religious experience with those windows. There you go. This will give you a good idea. Oh, wow. So White did this build out in here too? No, no, no. This, the, um, uh, White did their own build out. That was it. But it looks like this. Th this is a little more organized along the, w the windows. I, 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 I am not familiar with their build out. Oh, yeah. no, it's just that the, the materials and the whole, you know. Well, I guess we can pop in there and take a look. You know? But, I mean, it, what I'm wondering is whose work was... Oh, this, this work on the interior was yeah. um, Valerio. Oh, oh, okay. And then on the other okay. side, I'm sure White did their, you know, did their own Got work. It. Okay. So here, we can take a quick look. We'll give you an oh, idea. Man. You know, and all of the partners wanted these windows, of structure, one of these windows right here, and you can get a good view of this, Joe. Now you can feel the oh, yeah. like. Wow. Now, it does vibrate, but you feel, you feel that, you feel that. Um, but I don't think if, you, if we had a glass of water on it, no, we would have right. seen it. So. But it's here, that train is, what, 10 feet from here? Yeah, right. yeah. That's, I just think it's a fabulous office along this wall, and you get to see the, the river and the, the reflections off of 333. What kind of engineering was required to make this as steady as it is, as we're experiencing it now? Because, uh, 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 I, I, you know, I can feel it, I mean, but, right. and hear it more than anything else, but right. like I said, I mean, if you had a glass of water on the table, it wouldn't... I, th I, I think you're right. I think what you do is you feel the sound hitting the window. You don't, right. you don't feel you have vibrating. So vibrate. what was involved in, in, in making the... Well, the interior structure is, there's a series of rubber 
separate these gaskets, and everything is set on top of these gaskets. So this building essentially floats inside the shell. Oh, okay, okay. And is this something that? Uh, so uh, it is a ship a bottle and it's a structure it is, within a structure. Exactly. And is this something, did you, you, you must have had, do you know on structural engineering in your firm or did you? No, this was. This was uh, Dave Fisher, Fisher. And, so, Fisher and Associates. So we work with them a lot on, on rehabs and, you know, and it's nice. They come to the table with a lot of experience, with not a lot of ego. We try to figure out what we have to deal with, what the goal is, and we, we sit down and come up with a good solution. A real problem solving issue? Yeah, it really was. So we work with them on a lot of rehabs. Um, they're just uh, someone you can bring to the table right away and talk to. So I guess we can. Uh, did you do uh, the design on one of these offices? I, I did. We did not. Is that blurry? Oh, yes. Blurry. But that is one of the things your firm undertakes with the uh, commercial we, interior oh, project. Correct. Companies. Correct. We do a lot of interiors. Um, maybe we can. Um, and the other project I'd like to show you guys, we did we did all of the interiors, okay. which is. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. How's everything going?